Katerina from Miss Rita to the Rescue, and I'm here for today's cricket chat with Miss Rita. I hope I can get some friends on to join me as we make this really fun project using Cricut Smart Paper Sticker Cardstock. We're going to do it in black, and we're going to create a really fun card um, that I created. Let's have you take a look. This is done with black card sticker, a uh, smart paper sticker cardstock, and uh, it's really fun. I had a good time with this one because I was first, when I first started it, I was a little bit irritated about the inside, the, the negative space with the letters. I tried to cut it on uh, cardstock and I got all those little pieces uh went missing. So I couldn't do that. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Good morning to everyone. I'll say my hello. Hi, Dawn. Leslie. Hi, Ada. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Laura. There's Cheryl with an S and Leslie. And uh, who else is the writer on today? Elizabeth. Good morning, Susan and Sue Boss. Good morning. So it's Thursday and we're getting closer to Christmas. Um, I had mentioned earlier in the week that this was going to be a card week, mostly just cards. So if you're hanging in for other things, they're coming soon. But um, I figured this is a time when a lot of people do cards and I wanted to show some new ones and also a few tricks. Hi, Connie. Um, hi, Joyce. Good morning. So our Dean was as asking, have I checked out the new fonts? And I will tell you that I saw that they were live um, or that that the Holly from Melody Lane had announced them, but I have not had a chance. I couldn't find where they posted them. Maybe they did it in the Cricut software, but I had a really busy day yesterday. And so I'm um, kind of tired today. And uh, so I didn't get a chance to check it to answer your question. <laughs> so um, I will soon and I will uh, mention it too. Okay. Um, I was about to ask that in my group with the cricket folks and I just never, I didn't have a chance to ask this morning and I probably wouldn't have gotten a, pro a, a reply. Maybe I would have gotten one from uh, Carol cause she's always up this time of, of day and she always gives good good responses. Hey, listen, if you haven't already and you're looking for more people to follow on YouTube, um, I would suggest that you follow my friends that are also Cricut product experts. I'm going to show you, I don't know why this is here. Okay. But if you go to YouTube and um, of course, I want you to follow me because I'm, uh, you know, obviously, but if you're looking for someone else to follow, I want to show you my friend, April. Um, it's called Crafting with April. And I want to show you something over here. I don't know why I got all this over here. Why does this keep popping up? I don't want it on here. Go away. Okay, so here's my friend crafting with April. And if you go into her um, into her page, you'll see down here, meet more Cricut product experts. And even though Cricut's not a product expert, uh, these other people, including myself, are um, Sassy Ranita Crafts. That's my friend Abby. There's Carol from Carol's Cricut Crafts. There's Narell, the non-crafty crafty. And this is um, Ashley from the Thrifty Chica. And this is my friend... Um, Oh, Angie, Angie, I love handmade stuff. So these are all people that are Cricut product experts. There are a few others, but I don't know um, why they're not linked in there. So I just thought that you would um, like to know about them. If you're looking for other places to get your inspiration, these people are so inspired and really do love them. Of course, there's Melody Lane as well. So, um, hi, April. April's on today. Good morning, April. Hi, Melinda from Lynchburg. 
Oh, I'm glad. Medi- Medicare is such a bummer, man. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, everyone, so, okay. All right. And Gloria's popping in to say hi. Good morning to everyone. So today I'm going to take an image that I found in design space and turn it into a card. And uh, this is really kind of a fun card because I'm going to use black with silver. We're kind of on a metallic binge right now. And I thought this looked really good in black, Um, but you could also do it in white. Now, note well, note bien, (laughs) um, that if you don't have a Maker 3 a joy or an explore three, then you will not be able to use the smart paper, but you could always use um, other paper and just be careful of what I'm going to show you. Okay. So I'm going to uh, start from the beginning where I always start and I'm just going to group this. And remember you can get this on uh, design space. If you if you uh, go to the community page and and become my friend, follow me on uh, on Cricket Community. Okay, so um, this is where you would follow me, and you can get to the community in a bunch of different places. I hear there's more coming, so um, so if you are a little baffled about what's happening with the, um, with the community, then you will be, um, enthralled, uh, to know that they're focusing a lot of time and effort on there. So I'm going to go to images and my favorite way to find images is image sets. And, um, this is where I would find the image set. And actually I think the image set is listed under cutaway. Um, so there are these really fun cricket, I'm sorry, Christmas cutaway and also other cutaway elements here. So you see there's square, there's, um, there's all these other ones. Look at there's away being away. There's shabby chic, cool father's day, all different kinds of cutaway cards. And I believe this is where I found the one that I'm doing today. But if I couldn't remember, I want to show you how I would remember where I got there. Um, and we're going to click on my original title. So you see, this is my original title, Merry and Bright Holiday Cards. Now down here, although it doesn't show it, it doesn't show it right away. But if you click on images and fonts, you can find out what images and fonts that people use, as long as they're not uploading images and fonts. If they're images and fonts from Design Space, then you will have the... Um, you will have there what images and fonts, whoever used it, not just me. And then here is the Merry and Bright cutaway card. I'm going to click on this. This is called an image number. It always starts with a hashtag and then, or a pound sign if you're old like me, um, and then a bunch of letters and numbers. When you click on that, you can see there is the image and it is a cricket access image. I want to see where it originated. So I'm going to click on the triple dots and I'm going to choose view image sets. So it looks as if this came from this image set called shabby chic cutaway card elements. So let's have a look, shall we? There's actually this one here. Merry Christmas. I didn't see that one. So let's grab this one and bring it in. Now, um, this is a cutaway card and you're welcome to cut this as a cutaway card. And all you would have to do is really just size it to whatever size you want and, uh, use the card. If you're going to use a cutaway card, you should use the box that has the dimensions, but I don't want to make this a cutaway card. I want to make this a regular card that I'm going to cut out the front and back. Okay, so this is going to be my front and I'm going to make it, I'm actually going to unlock it and change it to five by seven. I might have to change this a little tiny bit in the end, but that's what I'm going to start with. And then I'm going to go and get a shape and get my square 
There's my square, and I'm going to unlock the square. And let's see, I'm going to do that one in five by seven. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it black because I really like the way this looks in black. All right. So this cutaway card consists of cuts and also writing, which means that the writing is attached to the card. So what we want to do is detach those, you see, and here is the writing portion and here's the cutting portion. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the, the, uh, cutting portion. This is why I, I, uh, made them all the same size because I wanted to be able to see them and, and say, okay, how much do I need to change this? Um, and here I do need to make it slightly smaller. So how big is this really? 4.64. Um, it's not really that necessary to know that exact number, but this is what I want. So here are all my cuts. So I'm going to select them all and I am going to choose slice. Okay. So let's peel away like we always do with slice and we do not need this anymore. So let's get rid of these. That's remember slices like making cookies with a cookie cutter. You're going to have your dough, your cutter, you're going to push through and then you'll have your cutout and then you have to remove all the leftovers. Okay. So here you go. We have now the writing and we can put that on there. We're going to arrange it, send it to the front. I think I want to put silver. So I'm coming up here to pen and I'm going to put marker silver metallic. Now I have this and it's right in front of there. And that's pretty awesome. I do need to make a little bit of a change in terms of the size, just a tiny bit, just so that everything fits on there. So I think it's like 4.8 by 6.7. Um, and then there you go. But before we attach this, I want to build a card around this. And so as you can see, there are green elements, there are red elements. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this black and we're going to turn one red and we'll turn the other one green. Okay. Now, now we can go over here and I'm going to make this slightly smaller because I feel like it's not going to fit on that square. Okay. There we go. So now that you have these two pieces here, let's grab these both and we'll just hit attach. Um, and now our writing and our cutting are all on one page. Now the red and the green, this is where I got a little messed up, but when you're doing this, what we're going to do is we're going to contour out um, certain things that are green on the green. And then actually the red becomes the bottom page. So we're going to contour out all of the pieces. Okay. So let's start with the red. We're going to go to contour which is down here. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to hide all contours. Now I know it's like, Oh, it's red, but it's not a card. That's okay. So let's go ahead and arrange this to the back. And then we can see kind of how this is coming out. You see that? But now we have to go in and decide which of the green parts should show up. So we're going to go to contour. And we're actually going to eliminate the green part. So that would include the holly. Um, I made this green, these little, I think they're supposed to be like mistletoe. And then there's a bit of pine. So I made that green. And then there is a tree. Okay. Now, um, let's see, I got one more thing to show you, but here is, here is how it's going to look. Let's have a look. Now we get 
are red and green. Isn't that great? Now, one thing I do want to point out here is that this design, because it's a cutaway card um, originally, it has these little pieces here that are part of, supposed to be, I think, a poinsettia. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm actually going to, I have to detach it from the writing. And I'm going to actually contour out those pieces that are the poinsettia. And we're going to just hand write them in. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm erasing all those little dots. And then the, I don't know, it's supposed to be the vein on the leaf. So I'm going to eliminate it. I also don't need it on the green. So I'll go in there and contour out those two okay so i'm just going over here on the right side of the contour it, it shows every single cut that's going to be made so we just contour out these here as well okay so now we have what is starting to shape up to be a card but i want to add I want to have it be an open the card kind of card. So I'm going to take my red layer and let's move these two layers over. And here's my red layer. I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to do 10 by 7, 10. And then I'm going to grab in the shapes, I'm going to grab a score line. So my score line is here. I should increase it to seven. And then I'm going to grab them both and hit a line center. That's going to give the score line right in the center of the card. Okay. And then I can go ahead and attach that. Now I'd like to add a sentiment. So I couldn't think of a very uh, good sentiment. This is the one I came up with. May all your days be merry and bright. Um, but if you're looking for sentiment, I would suggest that you go to uh, Google. Here's Google. And type in uh, casual Christmas card sentiments like that and because I think Mary and Bright kind of like casual and see this is modern and short Christmas greetings um, usually I look for the Hallmark ones because they're pretty good um, but here's a good housekeeping so let's have a look and we'll have a look by clicking on that link and okay Don, we now are ugly sweaters. <laughs> Very funny. All right. Um, wishing you a white Christmas. And if you run now, I want something that's not irreverent, but that's kind of casual. Eat, drink, be merry, have a wonderful Christmas. How's that? So let's go ahead and select that whole saying, eat, drink, and be merry. And I'm going to do a command C, which is copy. That's on an iMac, but it might be different for you if you're working on a Windows. So I'm then going to come here to text, and then I do a command V, and it adds that saying, that sentiment in there. So I want this to be, we've done this. Um, we've done this before in vinyl, but right now I don't want it to be in vinyl. I want to use my, my uh, coordinating color. So I'm using silver here. So I want to use my silver color. So I'm going to go up to font. And um, I'm going to go over here to filters and choose writing. Now, once I do that, 
I can sort of look. Now they're not shown in the writing layer. They're not shown how it looks, but I can get a feel for it um, based on what is shown. So I really like this one called BFC Coffee Shop. That looks pretty cool. Um, and I think what I will do, and I like this one flannel shirt, which is nice. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's going to look cute. Now I need to make sure that the style is writing and then the operation is pen. So once I do that, I can now resize this. So I'm just going to click inside my text box and add some uh, carriage returns. So eat, drink, be merry, have a wonderful Christmas. That seems to me like it's going to fit nicely on this card. So now I'm going to shrink it down and make sure it fits inside of my card base. There you go. Now I'm going to select this all and hit attach. Now I'm ready. I'm ready to cut out my card. So again, I'm going to use Smart Paper Sticker Card Stock, which is, um, it's a 13 by 13 sheet and it's adhesive. So this is going to help me replace or put these little bits in place once they get cut out. So I'm going to go hit make it. And on the black side, you will see it has it on the mat. So I'm going to choose without mat. I'm also going to make two of these so I have good use of my paper because once you've cut out, if you just cut out one, you'd have this whole part of your paper left over. You can't put it back into the machine that way. You can, however, use the bottom part that may not get used. And I want to just point this out. If you decide, hey, I really like this card. Now I want to make four at a time and you hit four. What you will need to do here here is because the paper is only 13 inches long and having four fronts makes it 16 inches long. I need to go back in there and change the material size to 12. Once it does that, it will allow me to use two sheets of the um, two sheets of the paper. That's the only thing you'd have to change uh, if you're working with the paper versus working with the vinyl or the iron-on, okay? So let's go over to the machine and see. I'm actually, actually going, I should probably have shown you, but I'm going to be choosing Smart Paper Sticker Cardstock, which is a, um, is a setting, okay? And I'm going to take and I'm going to get my silver pen. Remember these $3.25 pens that you guys got? Um, so we're going to use the silver for this. I'm going to put it in clamp A. So there it goes in the clamp A. I always hold the bottom here and then I close it. Now I'm going to put the paper in. You noticed I looked on the back. I'm I'm looking for those arrows. This is the way that I'm going to put the paper in. Does it matter? It really doesn't, but I do what I'm told. So this is the way I'm going to do it. So let's hit the load. And while that is cutting out, first it's going to do the writing, right? So I hit go. And it's going to do the writing for two of the cards. And while it's cutting and writing, I will stop and say hello to my friends and see, I love the silver pen myself and black with silver looks really good. But, um, that, but here I also did it with the copper pen and it looks, it looks nice too, but I really like this black one. Now, um, when you're, weeding a cutout like we we did this yesterday with the white uh sticker paper and when you're weeding it you're going to have to be really careful because there's a, like a lot of little cuts in there and one thing that i noticed is 
weeding in between the letters and this and sign, the B and the R, is a little um, problematic. So I'm going to show you how I got around that because I want those to kind of stay. And if they don't stay, no biggie, but, but um, I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Um, and we'll just kind of watch this and yeah, it looks like chalkboard. Yes, yes, yes. I wish, um, I wish April that we had uh, white in, I would have done this with the opaque pen, but it really doesn't work that great for me. So I was like, nah, I'm going to skip it. All right, so while we're watching this happen, let me also remind you that uh, we have a giveaway every month. I give away, and actually we have a giveaway every week and every month. So, and sometimes we even have giveaways every day, including these ones. So, um, let's see, Loretta, can you find three winners of this card? Um, and on YouTube. And if there's anybody on Facebook that wants to receive this card from me, um, speak up because I'm the only one that can see you. Besides the other people that you're on Facebook with, I'm the only other person that can see your comments. Yes, I don't, you know, I just, I, I did tell Cricket that I wanted them to, if it would be possible to add a white marker instead of the opaque pen. And they did say they'd have to go back and reformulate, but at least they responded, which is great. Um, and I, I'm going to ask April if she's still on. Um, okay, Daryl, Daryl, it's yours. Daryl on Facebook. Daryl Thornton um, is, so anyway, good morning, Wendy. Hi. Um, and right. Okay. All right. So April, did you see the new fonts? Because I haven't seen them and people are asking me about them. I think they're all BFC fonts. Um, and going to buy this pen, but there are many of you say there are problems with them. Yeah. Well, they look really cool. I mean, I'm so glad they came out with a white pen, but it's just formulated as a gel. Like, and so you can see the roller ball indentations on it. And that bothers me more than the skipping does because the skipping, I could go back and like sort of fill in, but the, the indentation of that ball, on the ink is really bothersome to me. I don't know. It, I just want it to be a marker. So first you see it does all the marking and then it's going to do the cutting. So we don't have to watch it much more. Um, and let me, I think, I think Loretta that Pat may wanted one. All right, so let me come up here so you can see. So here it is all done. And what I'm going to do, much like with infusible ink, you're gonna kind of roll it. This is it, I cut it out from the piece of sticker paper and I'm just gonna roll it and sort of take all of these little bits off. Easy enough, right? But then you get two letters and letters can become problematic because some letters have have what's called negative space. So right here, and then the ampersand has two bits of negative space. So I need to be very careful about weeding through there. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm weeding all these little pieces and I will even weed the letters, but being careful to retain that negative space. Okay. So you see, I'm not doing this on my work surface because it's easier to just kind of do it with my hand. Now, in this case, I want that inside piece to remain. So I'm just going to use my weeding tool to kind of get around it. Um, oh, and I was going to mention about the giveaway. So we have a giveaway that's going on and um, we have a giveaway every single 
uh, month. And this month, no exception, I am giving away a $700 prize. And that is the Cricut um, Maker 3 Everything Bundle. Plus, I'm adding in one of the learning sets. So depending on who is the winner, there'll be there are two learning sets now. Uh, one, I think, only two there is an iron on that's supposed to come out but there is a uh, card learning set and there is a vinyl learning set and they retail for thirty dollars i think and um so since they're geared towards the maker three and the explore three the winner of my maker three will get the learning kit um and i want to just uh, call out to our last month's winner, Tammy, who I know is feeling a little bit better. Tammy, I didn't put a learning kit. I didn't think of it until later. So I added some other things for you. Um, okay. And I'm just still just cutting, uh, making sure I get all of these cut out. But you see, I was very careful to leave the the negative space here and that's what I'm going to do the last piece and also at the ampersand okay now the other two pieces are actually do I have the other two pieces yes are actually cut from eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock so if you have it um then use that either that or you can use the 12 by 12 but it's a little bit of a waste so um so that's that's that okay and i'm just going to take off all my little peelings that just kind of drives me a little cuckoo all right so now that we've done that i can clean my hands off we do not use transfer tape for this stuff just taking a little bit here. We will use our hands. So here are the other pieces. And by the way, there it is in white. So we're gonna take the green piece first. And now what I'm going to do, this might seem a little weird, but I am going to like peel I'm going to place this right on top. All right, you too. And I'm creating a little bit of a hinge, but don't bend the cardstock. Hey, 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 come on. Do you want somebody to complain? No, so don't, don't bark. All right, and what I'm doing is I'm peeling off the layer underneath, you see, and I'm trying to get those bits to sort of transfer. I don't know that I'm going to be successful, but that's what I'm trying to do. And actually, I was successful, but I hadn't thought about this. They're all here underneath. So next thing to do is to attach these here, or this here, I should say. I'm going to use my double stick tape. And, oops, that's a piece already, already in there. Wah, I need you. Stay with me. All right. So I'm going to use my double stick tape. I'm going to attach this to the red. So this is sort of, maybe you'll get this done right. Or maybe you have to come back like I am going to have to do and place those pieces so here I am taking off the back of my double stick tape. If you want to know what this tape is, it's just really inexpensive tape that you can find at the Dollar Tree. You can buy the expensive kind, but I've used them all. And this to me, it's like eight bucks for 10 rolls and or something like that. It's so much, so worth it. And by the way, if you need to find this on Amazon, I am an affiliate of Amazon. So um, if you want to find it, I will post a link. All right. So then I'm going to put this right on top. It's nice and sticky. 
right? And there's the inside of my card, but we still need to come back and take these little pieces and place them in the letters. There we go, like this. Boom. See that? And the ampersand is this. Slightly different. And then the top part is the one that looks like an upside down tear. There we go. And then just come back and place these other bits. I got another R and a B. Wait, I got two R's and a B. And I have a little bit left of the paper for some reason. And I think I might be missing one little tiny piece here, guys. Um, so there's the B. And I think this is the R. I'm missing the bottom piece of the B. Ah, how did they do that? Weird. Let's have a look at what it looks like. It's a small, yeah, it's a small thing. And for some reason, I missed it. Now, if you have to, you could put a little bit of glue. See how this came up a little bit like this? So I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of glue so that it comes down and hopefully it doesn't squeeze out, but it did. So I'm just going to take the extra off like this. All right. Oh, wait, is this it? Is this it? It is. <laughs> Hooray. All right. <laughs> Oops, I messed up my green here a little. Oh, no, I didn't mess up my green. That's the back of it. All right. Okay. And that's it, right? <laughs> you lost Rudolph's nose. But I found it. I found it. It was tucked under this mistletoe. Um, and that is our card. Uh, it doesn't have the new inscription that we had, but isn't that adorable? Now, um, let's have a look at what we just cut out just so you can see the whole process. So as I was saying, you're going to just cut along here and you will have this, I don't know, what is, how many inches is this? It's like five inches. So it's still good. So hang on to it because you can actually put this in to the machine as long as your um, your mat that you're cutting is less than the five inches. You really actually have to do like four inches, which would, would have worked for anything that I have like cut out. So, so here it is. The first thing that I do is I take off this part. All right. And then I cut it in half. Just so that I'm working with one and not the other. It's always good to have. And then we can start doing the peeling. You see? What? Come on, peel. Come on. Now, I mean, the thing that if you are doing black and you don't like this white edge here because when it's cut out you will see the that the core inside of this is white and if that bothers you you can ink it um, and you can actually ink right on this page so remember yesterday's project this one here um, and we use the smart sticker cardstock. I could actually ink right on this if I didn't want a plain white one. And I would suggest if you're going to ink it first, I think I would, um, I would weed it all and then use your inking brush, which we're going to use tomorrow. I got, I picked up some new ones and I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of inking on your, um, cards, I think tomorrow. I have to remember. I'm not really sure. So that is, this is the silver pen 
from metallic marker set, which are currently on sale for $3.25 last time I checked. And I also used this. This is Cricut Smart Paper Sticker Cardstock in black. It comes in black. It comes in white. It comes in pastel. And then like a rainbow assortment. I really find the black and white to be the best because it sort of becomes my canvas. The, the rainbow is okay. I don't really like the red. The red's a little bit, um, it's too pinky for me. So that's it for today's project. Um, and I was hoping tomorrow to show you something that um, is iron on because you know I love to use iron on on my cards. But I, I think I might have told you this. I dropped my iron, my little mini, and I'm waiting for a replacement. Now, don't think that if you have the mini that if you just drop it, it's going to break it. I mean, I dropped this thing probably dozens of times, which made it um, completely unfunctional. Just one day last week, picked it up after I had the show, thankfully. And I did, um, I was trying to do all the cards that I was sending out and it didn't work. So yeah. So I have, um, I'm waiting for my friend Brittany to send me a new one and we will get back to ironing on cards. And um, just so that you know, I had that and they easily replaced it for me. So that was cool. I love my mini. I actually also ordered one because I was like, well, Brittany's really busy. So I think I'll order one and then I'll have two. And so there's not so terrible, right? If you have two. So, um, I ordered one for myself that was in the Zen green. I'm going to go pick it up at Michael's today. Um, and I have to tell you, I do not, I really do not like the Michaels pickup program. It's terrible. I was in there yesterday and I was um, picking up just one thing that couldn't be shipped, right? And, um, and then I was like, um, oh, so I'm looking, it's one thing. I had everything else shipped that drives me nuts about the michaels ordering system too is that like you can have it shipped and pick up some and i just get so confused i don't know i keep saying i'm old but i don't know maybe i'm just getting cranky <laughs> so um yes thank you all right that's cool now one thing that i wanted to ask you all um, at the end of the program. So tomorrow we'll do something else. Um, tomorrow we're going to be picking a winner. We do this every single week and each winner, uh, comes from my followers on Cricut community. So if you go into view profile, right? This is me. This is my profile. And so I am going to go to my followers and I always say hello to my new followers. So there's Linda, Bernie, and Sandy. Welcome. Hello. Um, and you'll see here on my profile, I have over 600 projects. Some of them don't have pictures. Okay. But um, this one that we just did, I took a picture of. So I'm going to show you how to uh, change that. Okay. So anyway, before I get there, I just want to say, if you are one of my followers tomorrow, I will pick um, one of you to win a Cricut Cutie. Last week, we had two winners, Roberta Meal and Leslie Audie, and uh, they are going to go out uh, to you. They have not gone out to you. So um, the last thing that I want to say before I, I let you go is my friend Molly, whom some of you have heard me talk about, my friend Molly, um, is back with cancer. So um, she had stage four ovarian. Remember stage four, I'm going to do this one thing that I forgot to show you <laughs> at the end. So stage four just means that it's moved. So her can cancer had moved in like into her uterus and whatever, all those other parts. Right. And, um, so they've removed it all. She was cancer free for about two months. 
uh, which is shorter than me. Look at me. I'm just putting in these little lines because I want this. Anyway, she, I, so I spoke to her on the phone on Friday night and she said, I'm turning 50 right after Christmas, December 29th. I got to tell you, Rita, I didn't think I would make it to 50. And um, I want to have a celebration and I wanted to ask for your, um, for your help. So one of the things I thought of was, well, <laughs> I have a whole slew of people that follow me that like to make cards or else they probably wouldn't follow me. So I'm going to post her address um, and I'm going to post it and it's okay that I'm posting her address. I did check with her and I'm going to post and request that you all send uh, a card, not a cheer up yet well card, but more, hey, you turned 50 card. And uh, maybe we'll even like work on something like that. Um, so I will, and thank you so much for the prayers. She's asking for them. And um, she, her cancer's back, but it's smaller this time. The last time she had like a grapefruit size. And um, now they removed that. She was cancer free. Um, but she, and she's got little tiny tumors that are in places uh, I don't know where gallbladder liver, maybe I don't really know. Um, but she's, she really sincerely said, I didn't think I'd make it to 50. Um, her mother didn't make it to 50. So, uh, I think that was, you know, probably a good assumption. And, and um, I'm not laughing because it's funny because it's not, but my friend Molly is, and, um, I know she will get the most, the hugest amount of uh, happiness from your cards, whatever you want to send, um, is, is good for, for her. She is my dear friend. I've known her. Remember I told you, I think this street is lucky. Remember I told you that I found Santo. I found him, right? I, I approached Santo. He was working on a house next to, next to my girlfriend's house. Maybe that's why I felt comfortable getting out of my car, but it's actually kitty corner to my, my street. And that's how I met Santo because I thought he was like a worker and I was asking for his boss cause I needed whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I met Molly. <laughs> she lived right beside that house and I was walking my dog um, my dogs at the time. This was a while ago and my father had died just had just died. And, um, I, I used to walk my dogs so religiously until Santo came along and then he started walking them. But, um, but I, I would take them for a nice long walk every day. And, um, she must've saw something and she was, she came out, she was sitting on like the porch. I don't know. She might've been smoking. And she was like, hi, how are you? She was so, upbeat and really like I was used to being, but I was really still, I think much mourning my father and it just cheered me up. And she's like, Oh, I, I live here in this house. I moved in just not too long ago. What are your dog's names? When she introduced me to her dog and my dogs, and it was the start of a really beautiful relationship. And we did everything together. We took the kids everywhere. We talked about, she's wants to be a stand up comedian and yeah, she's hilarious and she loves rainbows, butterflies, peace signs, uh, everything. She loves all that great stuff. She calls herself a hippie and um, she loves anything glittery or lights or blinking. So go, go wild on your cards for her. And, uh, and if you send it, don't feel bad if you sprinkle a little glitter inside. She'll love it. Okay. So um, please, if you can, uh, I'll post the, the address. Uh, I'll do it a number of times until her birthday. Okay. So that way you don't miss it. And I'll also post it in the group. So that's all I've got for you today. Um, 
And I hope that you have a wonderful day tomorrow. We're going to, I, I want to do some inking. So I want to show you how to do that. And then I'm trying to think what the project was for tomorrow. I think it was a card. Yeah, it might have been this, but I, I think I said, oh, I know what it is. It was uh, Anna Griffin cards from her Christmas kitsch card collection. You got to see it. So, so much fun. There's um, this picture obviously has no picture, but it there it is. So these are really fun edge of the card cards that we're going to do tomorrow. A lot of fun. And um, the last thing I want to say is um, if you are looking for something that I promised that I was going to send you, I have not forgotten you. I have become uh, so busy that I've gotten behind on it and I'm trying to, um, to get through everything. I'm going to try this weekend to get through everything. I know I have some that are due people like from October and I apologize profusely. Um, and I will get them out to you. So thank you everyone who is patiently waiting, um, for one of my creations in the mail. All right, everyone, that's it for me for today. I hope you have a wonderful day and, um, be kind to everyone you meet. You might have a new best friend just for saying hi to someone. So get out there. And when you're in the grocery store, this is so Molly and so me, um, get, get out in the grocery store and say hi to everyone and look them straight in the eye and give them a big smile. I do that every single day I'm outside. Um, and I learned that from, I think I learned that from Molly. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's a testament to how, happy she is. She's a very happy person. So get out there. If you're out in the store at Michael's, even if you're complaining because Michael's has the worst pickup thing, you can stop and say, Hey, you know what? I need to tell you that this is a bad pickup situation, but I'm not blaming you. Thank you so much for helping me because it's not the employee. It's the it's the uh, home office, you know, they, they come up with these ideas. They don't have interaction with people. And so it works in their mind. It doesn't work in real life. So anyway, all right, you guys love you. Hope you have a lovely day. Take care.